for having you on the show. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me on today, Mike. You betcha. I mean, well, I, we got to dive right into what you're, uh, you guys are all about, what's happening with Bidenomics. They are literally celebrating Bidenomics at the White House. Let's talk about that celebration and what AFP is doing about it. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's amazing the lack of connection that they have to the average American outside the Beltway. The administration has made quite a show of adopting the name Bidenomics. They've said administration officials all over the country is celebrating all of their accomplishments. Meanwhile, Mike, the average American family will spend more than $10,500 more this year to afford the same quality of life that they had before President Biden took office. Nearly 40% of Americans say they've skipped a meal to help make a house payment or pay a monthly bill. And so things are not going well, even though they might be marginally improving from sort of 40 year high inflation and record high gas prices we saw last year. That marginal improvement is far from a success. And so what AFP is gonna be doing is barnstorming the country with a bus tour, what we're calling Prosperity is Possible. The Prosperity is Possible tour to show people not just how this administration has done them wrong and raised their costs, uh, but to show them what those policy solutions look like that you talk about on your show all the time and, and folks you know that, that are involved in policy and politics might know following this stuff, which the average American needs to hear as we head into next year. Well, we wanted to bring you on to sort of kick off this partnership between the Mike Gallagher Show and Americans for Prosperity to talk about this economic focus. Uh, and I want everybody to go to prosperityispossible.com. Prosperityispossible.com to learn all about the AFP bus tour, the Prosperity is Possible bus tour. Because, Akash, let's face it, we're seeing a pushback now in America, the likes of which I've never witnessed in all the years that I've had a show. I've never seen Americans feel so energized and so in many ways united it feels like you know there, there's a there, there's a characterization that we're sort of fractured and split no there's a there too many americans are saying enough is enough and americans for prosperity is 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 sort of uniting like-minded americans to push back against these disastrous economic policies that are breaking the backs of entrepreneurs and small business owners yeah, that, that's exactly right. I mean, how many things can you say that 75% of the country agrees on, but 75% of the country thinks we're headed in the wrong direction. The economy is issue number one for them. They don't think the economy is doing well, and they overwhelmingly blame President Biden for those policies, and they're right. Over the last two years, we spent an additional $6 trillion, $6 trillion, thousands and thousands of pages of regulation, and what do we have to show for it? We have a hamstrung energy industry. We have giveaways to the environmentalist movement, to the labor union movement, to you name it, special interest group, um, while the average family is still struggling. And so what we're gonna be doing, Mike, is, you know, the American people are agreed on the fact that things are not going well. What they may not necessarily be able to draw connections to yet is what good looks like, what good policy looks like on energy and spending and taxes and labor. Uh, and so that's what we're gonna be doing with events at grocery stores and gas stations all over this country. We'd love to have your audience come out uh, and join us, not just to hear what those solutions look like, but as engaged folks who listen to shows like yours and others who are having conversations with their friends and neighbors uh, to be more educated about how to do so in a way that's gonna help change people's hearts and minds at a crucial time for our country. I'm really excited about this, and we want to have you guys on a lot. I want, I'm going to be telling the audience a lot about the Prosperity uh, is Possible bus tour because, again, we can't sit back anymore. We've got to be engaged. You guys are the nation's largest fiscal conservative grassroots organization. You hold events. You knock on doors. You make phone calls. You're active in all 50 states. Uh, so you, you could, we invite everybody to show up. I want to show up at a Prosperity is Possible bus tour event. Like you guys say, Akash, if not you, then who? So learn all about this, prosperityispossible.com, prosperityispossible.com. In the days and weeks and months ahead, you're gonna hear a lot about what you guys are doing on the Mike Gallagher Show, and we're very proud to, uh, to help you fight the good fight. Thanks, Akash, let's have you back soon. You got it, thanks for having me on, Mike. You betcha, prosperityispossible.com, um, a project of Americans for Prosperity. This portion of the